Hi guys, um, so it's the next day and um, I'm going to be running it today. As you can see I ran it uh, twice off so far just to see how it would run. But This will be my third time running it and uh, prior to the video I um, put water in the boiler halfway. I don't, you can't see it when I have it tipped like that but I do have it halfway. Yeah, I, I don't think you can, but I do have this halfway, just trust me. And uh, this here, I've oiled it. So everything here is moving. And the reason why it's not so frictionless is because it's so good oiled that there's no pressure in here, so that slows it down a bit. But after it gets a tiny bit of pressure in there, it's going to be very frictionless. And remember, this, this is just for decoration. So I filled it up with distilled water and oiled it. So... Uh, Let's uh, put some sterno in it and light it up. So. Just gonna get some of this, stick it in here. I like using a screwdriver because it's small. I can get into this little, um, little slot to put the sterno in. And it also, you can see that it leaves gunk on the, uh, or after whatever it's called there's stuff on it after it gets done burning so I have not preheated the water so it's gonna take a bit I think I'll cut that out might sorry about this awkward silence okay so there we go I filled it up. I'm just gonna put this over here and then put this on top of this. Hopefully that's not in the camera shot. But set that there. Set up this off to the side and uh, we will uh, get started basically. I'm gonna light this up. I don't know if you guys can see but there is fire there and it's really hot actually. You can probably hear it, maybe. Uh, let me see. That nah, just goes in there just like that. Pretty. Pretty nice. So, do it like that. But, uh, so, uh, I'm gonna. Turn the camera off, pause it, and then I'll come back when it's heated up. Hey guys, so we're back and uh, it's uh, heating up. Sorry for the yellow light, actually, from uh, that light. But uh, we're actually heating up and I can hear it boiling. And I also changed camera angles from the top to a to, uh, side view so that you guys can see it from all these different views. But... Uh, it's almost ready to go. As you can see, it's pushing itself. Watch right here. It's starting to push itself. Whistle's got some pressure in it, so oh, we're just gonna wait here a few more uh, seconds, and then we'll be ready to go. It's about ready. So yeah. Just getting some stuff ready for when I'm running. If you're wondering what all that noise is. I think it's right around ready, so uh, let's try it. Almost there. Not quite. I'm back it up here a little bit. So that it gets it in the camera angle. View right there somewhat like that you can't see the top of the whistle but you know there's nothing to really see except a nub so I might be able to do this as you can see it's just a nub on top so it doesn't really matter all you care about is the flywheel and the boiler and the heat and everything so I think it's right around ready 
Yep, there it goes. Quite noisy right now, but it'll be quiet here in a second. We'll just wait a second. Let it build up a tiny bit more pressure. And I didn't put very much water. I took, uh, I actually, um, the water in there was, uh, the halfway the last time you see it, but, uh, it just went down. So, I mean, it doesn't use that much water, but. I think it's right around ready to go up to its max speed. Let's see. Safety valve is wanting to come up. Oh yeah, the safety valve is wanting to come up. So uh, there you go. Trying to get that oil moving around in there, but uh, you can also see that if you like pull it back to here where it doesn't want to go and let go of it, it'll actually pump it forward a bit. So if you like this, maybe get started. Or you just uh, you can hear stuff starting to get tight, and uh, we'll see if the safety valves want to come up. Might be wanting to come up just a bit. Okay, so here we go. It's actually vibrating a lot. As you can see, I'm not touching it, and it's vibrating away. So, uh, might mount it to a board. See how slow we can get it to go. There's the whistle. It's also a pressure release for me, so. It's actually slowing down by itself. That's pretty slow, but I bet you I can get it going slower. Right there. That's probably as slow as it can go, but uh, I'll just slow it down and let it. Build up some pressure as you can see the water right here. It's uh, running a little low, but it's fine. Because uh, the actual tank goes down a little bit farther than that, but if it gets below that glass, I'm going to have to take the fire out. We'll wait a second for the pressure to build up. Sorry about the noise, it's uh, our clock, every time it goes past an hour it makes a sound of a bird. So, almost there, I think, I think uh, that, uh, if you guys want to, might want to see the flame in the dark, 
Here, I'll turn off the light. You can't actually see it here. There it is. It's uh, right around going out, so. Got to make the most of whatever the flame is left. Valves not wanting to come up yet, so sorry about this, guys. It's kind of long. Well, I'm just gonna go it. Good. It runs eight minutes. I don't have a good fire going, so it's not gonna keep it going, so. Fire's almost out. I didn't put very much sterno in there, so. Now it'll just run like this for a long time until it's done. It'll just keep running like this. So, uh. Thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to give me some ideas, write that in the comments. Uh, if you want me to do something with this thing, Tell me in the comments and uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So I'll uh, see you guys later.